Finally, show your face. Gohan, here you go. It's a sensu bean. Give some to the others, too. I'm gonna fight these guys on my own. Huh, you wanna fight me? What's a puny little guy like you gonna do? There's no way you can beat me! I think it's finally time to show you my best stuff! Rick! 
Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. You, you, you. <laughs> Damn, how is this possible? He's already gone beyond a Saiyan power level, but how? <laughs> What kind of training has he put himself through to achieve this? Wait. What, are the stories more than legends? Could it possibly be? Is he the legendary Saiyan warrior that appears once every thousand years? Is he actually a Super Saiyan? What about you guys? You gonna go back to your own planet or what? Or do you want to end up like this guy over here? Whoa, you hear that bird, huh? This spiky-haired wimp must be out of his mind! Yeah, he actually believes that he has the power to take down Raccoon. Oh, he just got lucky. Raccoon wasn't fighting at his best, that's all. Yeah, that was a fluke. I mean, his power level didn't even go over 5,000. Give me a break. Here we go! Yeah! So, you won't go back, huh?
What's going on? This guy should be a joke. His power level was only 5,000. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. rapidly increasing his power level at the exact moment he lands a strike. He, he must be trying to conserve his energy. That power spike is probably too quick for even their advanced scouters to detect. His power level is unbelievable. How can... Where is all this power coming from? Do you understand now? Just give up already! And leave this planet! Uh, uh, this must be some sort of nightmare! How can we elite warriors be so sp -p powerless against this guy? Your naivete makes me sick! Why would you let them get away with that? You may have grown stronger, but that doesn't make you a Super Saiyan. Far from it! Super Saiyan? I can see that you're proud of how much you've increased your power, but that won't be nearly enough to defeat Frieza. Frieza, huh? That's the guy King Kai told me about. Wait, so even after all the training I did, you're saying I'm still not strong enough to beat him? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Frieza possesses more power than you could ever possibly imagine. Uh, maybe you're wrong. I mean... You saw what Goku can do, right? I mean, those guys couldn't even lay a finger on him. Goku is unstoppable. Then fight him and find out for yourself. But that's not all. Breeze has probably already used the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. No, I, I don't think he's done that yet. What? How would you know? Well, if it's like using the Dragon Balls on Earth, the sky should get really dark and Shinron appears. But it's been bright this whole time, which means he probably hasn't made his wish yet. Shen what? What the heck's a Shinron? You mean something comes out of the Dragon Balls? Oh yeah, that's right. He probably doesn't know how to summon Shenron. That means we still have a chance to make our wish. Hooray! <laughs> Appears we've got some company arriving. Looks like Jace has brought Captain Ginyu along with him. Wait, where's Frieza? I thought for sure he'd be back at his ship with the Dragon Balls that Captain Ginyu brought him. I'm sensing some massive energy over there. That's gotta be Frieza. Uh, over there? Oh, we're in big trouble now. That's where Guru is. Oh no. Frieza's probably going to force Guru to tell him how to make a wish with the Dragon Balls! Yeah, and once he's figured that out, he's going to kill Guru for sure! He doesn't know that he won't be able to use the Dragon Balls if Guru dies! The, what? That settles it. Krillin and Gohan, you two get the Dragon Balls. Me and Vegeta will go stop Frieza. Right. And if we don't hurry, Guru is done for! We have to find Bulma and get the Dragon Radar! Yeah, good idea. Good luck, guys. And be careful. Goku! Go get him! Come on, Vegeta, let's go. We're gonna go greet those Ginyu guys. Fine.
You're probably a lot stronger now that you've recovered from a near-death experience. <laughs> so you know about that, huh? So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, oh I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace! Take my scouter! What, what are you doing? <laughs> That body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain. Here's your scout. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> what? He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Dinle. Unhurry. Those Earthlings need you. Uh, okay. Understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes? I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, 
the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan!